Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry I went on a rant and I was just like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna use that. But um, basically, story time today. This chick sends me a $13 offer for a pair of $75 um, Teflon tactical pants that are new with tag. And she literally has the exact same pants but used on her closet for $45. I have my new with tag, perfect hang tag, sticker on it, the whole works. I have mine listed for 50. And she sent me an offer for 13. Really? You know, I think there's a problem. There's some missing light at the end of her tunnel. So basically, then I blew her up on Instagram and showed everybody, because I'm sorry, but the people that I've met and talked to um, that are from Posh, they try and help each other out. They, you know, will give people the benefit of the doubt first time. But... If you're going to double down on being a jerk, the whole community needs to know, and quite frankly, shun you. Because what you did to me was called bullying. When you tell somebody that's new, um, yeah, I'll give you $13 for your new with tag pants, even though I'm selling my used ones for $45. And... If you don't like that, well, then I can find it better. I can find it for lots other places. Then go. Do it. Be free. Because you sure as heck don't have them now. Because it's not on your page. So, rant over much smaller than it was before the retake. So, this is two boxes from Shop Goodwill. I should have two more boxes going out today or tomorrow um, and that those will come Monday because FedEx doesn't deliver down here on Saturday and then um, well, they might but I haven't gotten anything from them on Saturday I'm pretty sure it'll probably be Monday um, and then I had a winning bid at the time um, for a pair of or it's like three pairs of Lululemon work pants. Um, but I was like, all somebody had to do was put in a dollar and they took it. So I haven't seen any emails on it and I'm pretty sure it should have ended already. So I probably didn't win it. But so if I had one that, that would be another separate box I would have coming. Um, yeah, I think all the other stuff that I got from outside ones are done. So I can't do any more Shop Goodwill for a while because I have so many shoes and um, little bootlets um, and purses that I need to get. You know, like it's suede, it needs to be brushed and brought back to life a little bit. Um, you know, removing the, the marks on the bottom. Oh, this one they didn't mark up. Mm -hmm. Must not have gone to the retail store. So these are really cute. Who are these? These are the Priscilla of Matisse. Where's my little thing? The cheat sheet's not on top. Oh, here it is. Can't really read what the name of it is. And this one I have a couple of things of um, clothes. Uh, these are Matisse's. So Matisse's. It says beige. These aren't beige. Oh, this has got a lot of bags in it. Hopefully they're good. Uh, these are the only shoes in here. So yeah, they had them as beige, but they're actually tan. They're a nice little suede. Genuine leather upper Matisse, and it's called the Priscilla. They're both, you know, bottoms don't really look 
well, yeah, I guess there is like a little bit. Um, and actually, it looks like maybe two steps. <laughs> um, they've probably danced in these just because the parts where it's rubbed are like where you, where you rub your foot when you're two stopping. Yeah, I know how to do that. Okay, so that's our one pair of shoes in this box. So this box is a purse heavy box. And it's actually is heavy. Okay, so this is the pair of pants. So this is the one clothing item. And these are men's 3832 black jeans from Ring of Fire. And these are new Atag. So um, new Atag, straight leg. 3832 nice dark rich black and the company oh this is cute this is like the um safety tag on the aircraft you have that that's like your check that you have to pull it off so it's really nice it's like a little fabric ring of fire these are cool oh i like them here can you see the texture like they made like a little basket weave. Well, not a basket weave, it's just lines. So it's only texture on this side and then along the back, you've got the texture there and then the pockets have zippers, which is really kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Little butt zippers. Um, and these are, um, Suggested retail price of $50. So I'll probably get, you know, a request for 13 Oh my gosh. So the wash on this is called uh, Park La Brea, so the tar pits. And the style is De Longri. So those are really cool. And you see what they got in here. Ring of Fit, Fire, Straight Leg. 38 40 okay it says 38 the end seam is but it's 38 40 is it like stretch or something i don't know so it says what is this let me see is that like a phone number or something what the heck? oh okay i see what it is it's it's got all the size numbers and then the one it actually is, it has like lines, cause like all the other ones are kind of outlined with, and it's, um, there's like a dark line in the middle part. And then the actual size it is, is filled in and there's like two bars put on it. So these are the size 38s and inseam of 32. All right. Good men's jeans. We've got a ring of fire. I wonder if it's um, anything to do with uh, what's his face? Jerry Lee Lewis. Or um, Bart. Or standing outside the fire. I like that song. All right, okay, so now it's going to be first time. Okay. This one I'm excited, but it's probably not worth a lot. But it's kind of cool because it is new. And it's still got its tags. And this is Giorgio Armani. And it is new with tags. Oh, and it has something in it, or did they take that out? It says your gift has one or more of these things. No, there's nothing in there. It must have been like, this must have been like a gift of purchase. So like when you buy another bag, cause it's saying that your gift contains one or more of the products listed in this booklet. Look inside for the ingredients and information relevant to your products. So, and it's got like some different Armani, Armani 
makeups. So they did Giorgio Armani gift with purchase for the Armani makeup collection. It does not come with whatever was in it. It's just the clutch. But the little wristlet, so I'll have to do a little research and see what this is. But new with tag. Um, even though it was a gift. Super cute. I like the little fold over clutch part. So I have an Armani. Woo. Oh wait, do I have another pair of pants? I didn't know I have two pairs of pants. Um am I missing a page? Oh, it's a bag. I was like, I don't, this is really soft. Kind of suede. It needs to be brushed. It's a little, little rough. Um, yeah. I think this is Tagatella. Oh, oh yes. This one's going to be lucky. Back here. Uh, well, maybe it's not going to be lucky because it sounds like there might be a, t a rip in the side. The change is in the bottom of the purse. Maybe it's inside here that it's got the hole. Okay, I'm not finding a hole and there's money in there somewhere. And this is a fossil. Okay, seriously, there's like no hole. I cannot find a hole that money could have gotten in there from. That's so crazy. This is going to drive me insane trying to figure out where all the change get in there. Maybe it'll just be good luck forever. Maybe like somebody that made it put it in there to bring good luck. Because you're not supposed to actually give anyone um, a purse without or a wallet without money in it. It's bad luck. The same as you shouldn't push, don't put your purse on the floor because that and your money goes out of it. Um, and we got the little tag that says genuine leather made in China. That would be cool too if it was like Chinese yen in there. What are you? How did you get in there? It was like two, three, four. Yeah, there's like four coins in here somehow. Somehow. But I like this bottom. It's kind of done together. But yeah. This, this money situation is probably going to get me insane. Alright. So, nice fossil suede bag. With included change. That we have no idea how it got into the bag. Okay. I got to stop at this. I've spent like 10 minutes just looking for that. Okay, this should be my tag and me. Yes. Tag and me. No. So I've got um, another one of these that I picked up. I think it's over there. Um, it has a little bit of a blue spot here that I should be able to clean up. Um, it's got nice little pockets in the front. So two of those. And then two in the back as well. So that's kind of nice. The other one I have has like the pockets on the sides, but it's a really nice little hobo type. And then you've got the tag, tag anelli, an, Taganello logo. Nice, solid hardware. I love that. You've got a cute little full tech strap. And I thought we had some old money. Yeah, I really like that fabric. It's in really good shape. Everything's nice and clean inside. I don't see any ink or tears. I love that color. Yellow 
In fact, this mustardish yellow is huge for spring and summer. There is one little pin mark right here. I can get that off. So the two little spots I see shouldn't be a problem cleaning up. And you can have a tag in the bow. So nice leather. Love these. And I'm putting them on the pillow, so you luck, money it running out. Oh, okay, here's another Kipling bag. The Kipling bags, I think I paid up on this one too. Because I, I paid like $17 for the pink one. Um, the Taganello I got on the first bed. The Matisse's I got on the first bed. Ring of Fire I got on the first bed. Um, the Fossil I paid up like the highest I usually pay up. So it was like $20. Um, so I need to clean that. This one I also paid about $20 for the Kipling. But it was a one bid. Um, the Giorgio Mani wristlet does have an authentication certificate. And that I actually paid also the, um, the $20. So hopefully that's... I'm pretty sure I looked it up before I did it. And then there's another Kipling that I paid up but not as much. It was 7 um, So like 15 maybe is what it is. Because I'm like trying to figure with the handling cost. So like you have your bid amount then it's like plus four dollars for the Goodwill that I buy from and then you have like you know whatever its share of the shipping cost is so for seven dollars you're probably it's probably about fifteen dollars um and then for the nine ones it's almost twenty. Oh my god I love this one. This is the seven dollar one I think. So cute. It's like silvery. It's almost a silvery brown to it. And like it's got like little key hooks in there. We've got a zipper back here. Nice little side zipper action there. Oh, I'm going side one on here too. Yeah. So nice, super cute little. Um, and you can like extend the, so it can be a crossbody, or you can pull it in. Oh my gosh, I really love this color. It's like silver brown. <laughs> this is like the only way I can describe it. I love the Kipling pull. So very nice. Um, it looks like the, we lost the Kipling keychain thing that would be on here so maybe we'll get lucky and it's in there but probably somebody that has like multiple kit um multiple kit things so they just keep their things i know i know ben pickers has he likes he collects those so he may have one that i can buy to go with it all right so this is going to be so now we are on this should be cooperative um, women's gray handbag and then the last one's another Kipling oh this is nice this has got some heaviness to it. Oh wow. I like this. So it's oh and it's still got the silica in it. Oh wow. So this is neat. Well that's a good view. Oh, uh, it's just little I don't know what is up with this stuff. Yeah it like the, I, that's, I think that's supposed to be the bottom, maybe. So the front of it, the 
the leather on the front is kind of disintegrating. We've been seeing that with a lot of the shoes coming out of there. So, and it's kind of bad on the inside too. So, I like this little strap effect. I mean, with the shoes, it's easy to fix because I can put moleskin in to replace it. I don't know what can be done on this to replace this. Other than you could maybe just take that off. Take that piece off. Because um, it's just a, it's a sewn-on pocket. So you could actually take that off. Um, hmm. So other than the leather stuff disintegrating, the rest of it's looking good. We've got a um, nice, nice inner side. And so that's the only outside pocket. I probably think that that's what I'll do is just take that pocket off and retain these loops that um, these pieces go into and um, reattach those directly onto the purse. Um, the, the straps, I'm going to try and get some leather honey on them and see because they're like dried out but they haven't started peeling off yet. So I think maybe if I get some leather honey in them, that that will help. The suede is pretty dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. And I think I, that was a failure on my part for that one. Oh no, it was, it was the dollar. So it basically like $7. So I can even throw it up for that price as is now. And somebody might want it. Okay, so our last Kipling, and this is a big bag. Um, and this is the beige. So this is the large beige bag. And I actually paid less for this one than the little gray one. The little gray one was $9.99, but with the extra, so like $15 for it. Or no, it's almost $20 for that with all the other stuff. This was seven, so with the other stuff it's probably 15, 16 range. I gotta smoke smoke for a minute. Oh, the other, I need to check on the other purse because it, it was already starting to do good and um, I changed out the the Odo Band or just uh, basic dryer sheets on. Oh wow, this is really nice. Look at that. So we got two nice big pockets on the front. So you can like put your passport and stuff in there. And then you've got a huge inside. You've got an area for your laptop. It doesn't have like a a padded section for the laptop, but it does have this nice um, feels like really soft kind of cotton that's in between, so you're not getting any scratches on anything. It's really soft, and then you have another side over here with some more pockets, and all of it is a really really soft cotton oh and that snaps open so you have one large zipper pocket which is about that big in there so you got that zipper pocket then you have this section and that actually snaps closed onto the zipper pocket and then you have this middle section and that's like where I would think you would probably put your laptop and then you've got the next ses session to like, you know, whatever traveling supplies. And then you've got like the pen holders and uh, that looks like 
I guess that's supposed to be like a calculator holder maybe, but it's kind of skinny. And then like a phone holder. And then you got two large po pockets in the front. And then you got two large pockets here. And it's great canvas. And then I think that's your little Kipling tag there. This one did not come with a keychain either. Oh, what? That, that Velcro's on. So I guess you could put it inside as well as on the outside. And I like it's got like these little flaps right here. Because you know like sometimes you have that that heavy, that kind of open area there. And stuff can fall out. So it's got a little flappy that you put on there. So very cool. I'll have to find out prices on these. I think this one was kind of high because it's kind of like a it's not so much the travel bag as it is kind of like a, a briefcase bag. Um, adjustable straps. Um, they don't really adjust that much because it's only like this section. So. so that is that on that box. Oh my gosh. So put that over there. I need to work. So the two Kipling bags. Let me see what my grand told them. My Giorgio Armani pants and boots. So our grand total on this box was um, $92.35. And it was one, two, three, four. So nine, nine items, $92, so basically about, about $10, um, $10.25-ish each item. And um, except for this one, which I think I'm, I am going to like remove this pocket and then reattach these pieces on it. And of course, you know, like obviously note that. Because um, this can be a good little, you know, hangout bag. I may keep it or give it to my cousins are coming down. I'll give it to them. I mean, this could even be like a guy's school bag. So that one may not get the 10 bucks back on it, but I'm sure everything else should do fine enough to even make up for that one. And maybe make up Whoa! Oh dear lord. Hi. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so did that come out? No. Alright, so that is that one for about ten dollars each. And I think we definitely did very well on that one. This one is going to be a total of $69 for one, eight items, it looks like. Yeah, so this one's eight items for $69. So this one's less expensive, but I don't have, Chewy, out, out, out. Don't look. Seriously? Go out. 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 Don't look back at me. I'm not going to change it. Out. Oh my god, my dog is being such a butt. He's just looking at me like... I don't think you mean it. Okay, so this is even less than $10 each, so that's nice. So, cheap box for me. Um, and we do have more shoes. Ooh, but I see. Oh, that's, 
I see something I really like that is not shoes. Oh, uh, these are super cool. Oh my gosh, these are Fila uh, men's lace up sneakers, size nine. They look bigger than a nine. Look how cool those are. Those are super cool. Love them. Nice inside. Looking brand new. Yeah, these don't even look worn. These are super cool. Really like those. Would I pay for that? I paid a dollar. Plus, well, yeah, so less than $10 each. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm not going to make it great. I know a lot of people, they do something really good. And they're like, oh, I'm going to do that one last. Let's get to it. I'm kind of trepidatious. Looking like it might be okay. It does need some cleaning down here, especially. Yeah, so it needs a, a bit of cleaning, that's for sure. But look at this cute Lucky Brand suede and leather purse. Oh, this is like the softest. This is super soft. But the suede has definitely taken some challenges, so it needs to be cleaned up. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, nice. So we've got Italian leather, little sign that says Italian leather. And then on this side, we've got the, the Flower Power Lucky. And it's got the it's got like the magnetic closures, but instead of like closing up here, it was trying to close, it was trying to connect to the magnetic closure in the front. Um, and then you also have a little strap for your keys. Oh, and there's another, oh no, that's your, that's a nice size. Wow. Oh, and look. That's cute. Their little tag, their lucky brand tag. So this is really nice. I'm very excited to see how we can make that look. I'm excited about that one. Okay, so this is looking like a little kind of backpack. Oh no, it's a little. Hobo-ish. Pretty clean. Not seeing any ink marks or anything. So that's good. And this is um Shay Shay. Which is which the Shay Shay I know. It's Chinese for thank you. Nice little suede. Just needs a little touch up. Another. So, super cute. Little. Yeah, I guess you could even wear it on your shoulder. It is cute. Like this. So, that one's really cute. So, Shay Shay. And then suede. Okay. Or these are some heavy shoes. What are these? These are Dexter's Men's Black Loafers, size 14. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, they definitely need some some leather, honey. And again, <laughs> look like they haven't ever been worn. This is amazing. I'm getting such good stuff from Goodwill. I'm telling you, I am like so glad I went to Goodwill, um, shop Goodwill. 
auctions over buying any more mystery boxes because I've gotten I mean I've gotten like a couple eh things but <laughs> the majority of the stuff is really good unlike the mystery boxes it was like the other way around oh this is so cute I think this is coach yeah this is little cut this is tinier than I thought it was going to be, but oh my god, it's so cute. Look at that little coach tag. Oh, and you know, these little mini tiny, tiny purses are actually in this season. So like, as much as it would be cute to give to a little girl as her first purse, this could actually be a very trendy if your phone is that small. Yeah, so there's just a little spot right there. I'm going to clean up. Oh, I'm dying. That is so cute. Um, I might make my cousin buy that for This is so nice. This thing is heavy, buddy. How oh, nice. This is Adrian Bidadin? Denny? Adrian Bidadini. It had really good comps for his stuff, and this thing is heavy. Well put together. It's leather and canvas. It's It kind of goes into like this doctor's bag when it's closed and then you can open it and it's like more squared let's see nice thick um av branded zippers oh it smells good too and it does have the shoulder strap so that's a big plus um anywhere it attaches So that's going to be interesting to figure out where this attaches to. Hmm. I don't see an attachment place. That's weird. Oh, it's inside. Okay. So it's actually, you have the pockets on either side here. So it kind of cross cross bodies okay. that's cool i love the the geometric pattern that's going on and then you've got it on this side that's pretty cool very cool so there now you've got it kind of balanced but this sucker is heavy okay so we've got our Regular briefcase items. You've got a large zipper section here. Then you have your area for like your passport and stuff like that. Little kind of gripped things. You have your middle zipper pocket. So you have all your money that you want to hide in there. And then I'm assuming this side. You probably put like your laptop, and that's nice. You got little snapped pockets. Oh, that's kind of off. They've got like a little ledge on the bottom of the snap, so cool. very nice. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. This would be an amazing graduation gift. For someone that's just gotten their degree and ready to hit the big old workforce. And this works, you know, men or women. So this is an awesome, awesome unisex. And you've got your straps. 
So I think this will probably go pretty fast, especially now that everybody's starting to get back to work. We're seeing some amazing gains on the on the jobless numbers. Like a, stuff is coming back a lot faster than I thought it was going to, which is amazing. But I love this. This is probably like one of my favorite of all of them. Okay, so now we have two of similar things. Um, think of it. Yeah. So these are both London Fog um, trench coats. And yeah, both of them are the dollar rate. This one's heavy too. Let's see. And I think they they actually put the measurements on this, so that's really good. So this is a 44 regular. The shoulders are 38 inches, chest is 45 inches, sleeve 25 inches, and length is 41 inches. Thank you, Goodwill, and somebody did some math on the back. It looks like it's got the detachable. Yes. So it has the detachable um, liner. That's why it's kind of heavy now. So this in the winter, and then it's just the straight. So very nice. You've got your lining with the linen fog. That just needs to be brushed out. Oh, and it's a soft, like fuzzy down at the bottom. So I don't know that out. Oh, this is a great trench coat. Look how awesome. Um, and then you've got, is this new? Huh. It's got like this plastic piece that's buttoned on. Because it, it, I mean, that's not supposed to stay on it. Um, there's a little mark there. Let's see. Uh, and then there's another mark there. So it looks like, oh no, it's not even a mark. It's fuzz. It came off. So this might have been a shelf pull because it's got like this thing still attached to it. And it really doesn't have anywhere. And that, the fuzzy stuff coming off is like when you get, get them new and everything's just kind of coming off. So there's a little spot there. So this is where, so there's like two spots on the whole thing. But, oh my gosh, what a great trench coat. So I'm going to put the measurements inside the pocket. So I already have those to go. Love that. And then next one is London Fog 12 regular. So this must be a lemon. 12. Um, shoulder is 17 inches, the chest is 40, the sleeve is 24 inches, and the coat length is 37. This in the pocket, hold that. So this one isn't quite as elaborate as the other one, but it does have um, the, the removable lining. So that's handy. And it's got the nice big buttons. You've got your waterproof outside. It's nice and fuzzy. And inside. So not as, you know, that's like all the bells and whistles on it. This one's kind of a nice sedate. Pockets, just kind of basic. 
Maybe you've got your removable lining. Those are really often fine. Sometimes people, especially in Florida, they won't have the liner anymore because they just tossed it. So that was awesome. And I should have um I bought a purse on um on Posh. Um how I did, but it's really cute coach, I think. Or no, it's um coconella. So like one of the bags that I got, Coconella, um, I was looking at other ones and there was this one that was just so sweet. It's like kind of a cream um, bag, you know, kind of like that smile, I call it the smile shape bag. Um, and it's got like, a, it's kind of like 3D butterfly wings, so kind of like that on it and it's kind of like a blue butterfly so I'm excited to get that I know it needs a little TLC but she gave it to me for a ridiculously low price so I hope she got it at the bins um, because she she gave it to me let's just be honest here so I really appreciate that I'm gonna get that cleaned up really good and then I can send that off um, to one of my nieces. Oh okay. yay. And I'm so excited by these two boxes. And like I said, I do have two more that are in route. And those will probably be here Monday. So that will then officially be the end of hauls until I take Renee to the airport. So Renee is taking her son um, back home to spend some time with his brother and we'll be taking her up. So my son's going to um, drive us up to drop her off and then take me over to the bins and I will get some bin stuff and then come home and then go back and pick her up in a couple weeks and get some more men stuff. So I really got to get all of this cleaned up and put away and ready to go so that I got plenty of room for more stuff. So buy my stuff so that I can get more stuff. So I'm, I really appreciate all the positive comments that I've been getting. Um, regarding like how my range is in my closet and I really appreciate all of you guys out there um, my seven subscribers thank you and y'all have an awesome awesome day happy weekend I hope you get lots and lots of sales this weekend bye